Hi guys, welcome back to Geeks Grills. Uh, today we are going to be doing beef koftis. Um, you'll have to excuse the state of me because uh, I'm having one of those fuck it Sundays. I mean, that means fuck it, I can't give a fuck what I look like, you know what I mean? But anyway, here we go. Nice easy recipe, very straightforward. Going to be using the open fire over here on the right. But first things first, we've got to make these bad boys up. Okay, in here, it's only me eating today. Uh, so there's 400 grams of uh, steak mince in there. On this plate here, we have a tablespoon of uh, coriander, we have a tablespoon of cumin, we have half a, a quarter of a, a teaspoon of uh, pepper flakes, we have a quarter of a teaspoon of allspice, and a quarter of a teaspoon of uh, ginger. And that little lot, very straightforward, going in a bowl. To that, I am going to add, I'm using red onion today, you can use white, it really don't make a lot of odds. But to that, we are adding a whole onion. In you pop, floppity flop. Lovely. On top of that, we are gonna put a clove of garlic. Wonderful. That can go in there. And then really guys, very straightforward. Get the old one glove out. And mix that lot together just like you would do burgers, really. You know I mean, it ain't rocket science. Very straightforward. I don't know if I like these fucking gloves at the moment. I'll tell you, they're getting on my nerves. Anyway, right, so we're gonna do, that little lot is in there. We are literally just gonna give that a stir, or a mix, I should say. Make sure we get it all mixed up, guys. Oh, somebody at the door. Oh, well, it smells lovely already. Until we get it looking something like that, guys. Okay, okay. the next stage, Bring this tray over here. Is we got to get these on these skewers. Now I highly recommend buying flat skewers. All right, they're so much easier because when you're turning things, they don't slip off. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> My wife just flashed her boobs at me there. <laughs> Lucky fucker, aren't I? <laughs> right now, this is the R part. All you want to do is make yourself something that looks a bit like that, okay? And then all you're gonna do is go straight up the middle. Okay, and then using your hand, you've gotta try and squidge this thing all the way down the skewer. open that it all stays together and all stays on. Until we get something resembling that. Ta -da. Now you decide how thick you want them. I've got to be honest with you, this is gonna go into a um, uh, like, a, like a fajita style wrap. So that's about the right length, I'm thinking. <laughs> I, I fucking wish it was, do you know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> then all you're gonna do, guys, is repeat the process. Now you can cut these up, you can, I mean, if you really wanted to go to town, you could have chopped, instead of those onions here, I've chopped those onions up. You could have um, put those in a blender to make them even finer, but actually I quite like these bits of onions sticking out because they crisp up and caramelize, do you know what I mean? But I mean, you know, each their own. Right, let's go again. This one might look looks a bit bigger, actually. I'm well, starting to think my missus might be better at this than me. <laughs> Never know, do you? The old current buns come out today. It's nice since the lot weather we've had the last couple of fucking days. It's been fucking horrible. And there we have it. Un deux trois quatre cinq. Fucking hell. I speak French and all. It's anything this geezer don't do. Right. <laughs> all right. All right, what we're going to do next, guys, I'm going to set up the... Uh, well, you can probably see the smoke going because I've got a um, fire starter over there. Right, guys, so I'm going to go and chuck these in the fridge while we get the fire started, and I shall see you when the coals are ready to rock and roll. All right, see you then. Right, guys, welcome back. As you can see, our uh, chimney has got these coals nice and hot, which is what we want them to do. When you're doing a cook like this, it is handy to use one of these chimneys because as we pour it out, all the coals are already gonna be warm. You haven't got to wait, you know, and then we can get a nice even spread of heat. Now, I always put these gloves on when you're picking these things up because it's bloody hot. All right. Very straightforward, guys. I'm sort of trying to guess, roughly work out the length of those 
coft is as to how I lay the coal out. And I think they're about that long, give or take. And as you can see, that is cooking. That is hot, hot, hot. Let's get rid of that, out of the way. Then, very straightforward guys, all we're gonna do is put these on. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna make myself, use one of these um, skewers so that I can put my uh, skewers on here and then just leave them twisting over. So I'm just keeping all the heat at one end. It's just a handy little hack really. Bosh, like so. Yeah, that worked out about spot on really, didn't it? Now these don't take long and you've got to stay with them because they do cook so bloody quick. As you can see, not difficult and it certainly ain't rocket science. There we have it. Okay, just a little tip guys. As you can see, we're starting to get a bit of smoking going on the go there, which is lovely. Just after about 30 seconds, just give them a little twist. All we're trying to do is just quickly seal that meat and it makes it easier to keep them staying on so they don't slip off as well. But they look fucking nice though, don't they? Now it was originally only meant to be me having lunch, but I can guarantee you when I put these bad boys on the table, there might be a few more takers. But anyway, we'll see. So, just keep on turning, baby. Just keep on turning, that's all you've got to do. But look how much caramelization I'm getting. I'm going to get off and they'll be lovely and crunchy. Look like that. All you've got to do is keep turning, guys. As I say, they do cook quick. Look, put them bad boys in there. I don't know if the smoke's too, too much for you, but have a little flip or a little twist, whatever you want to call it. We're nearly there, guys, already. As I say, they don't take long. What's that? I reckon probably about seven or eight minutes in total. Can't beat the sound of a bit of sizzling. Whoa. I'm fucking hungry now. <laughs> yeah, we are just about there, guys. I think that's probably going to be about the last flip, I think. Right, let's get ready to take these fellas off. Let's flip this thing round. Right, guys, that is us. Let's get these bad boys off. Ta-da. Two. Three, four, oh, lovely, five. And then all I'm gonna just do, I'm gonna pop that on there, pop that on there, because I just put my tortilla on there, ready to rock and roll. Let's bring this over. Hokey Kogi. Pop that straight on there. Let's warm that through. That's it, little flip, and that is it. Right, guys, very simple. Okay, watch that, could be a bit warm. I shouldn't take that one there. Now, just a little tip. Pull these forward first of all, then pull them off. <laughs> I don't mean pull them off like that. That's going in there. Look at that. Happy days. Wonderful. To that, I know it's got onion in it already, but I do love a bit of onion. So I'm going to put myself a little bit of onion in there as well. I'm going to put myself some iceberg lettuce on the top of that. And then I am going to top that off with a bit of old cucumber. It's a really simple dish, guys. This is going to be my lunch. That in there, that on there. And then Nando's Piri Piri mayonnaise today. I got off. Oh, fucking hell. And that is just going to have a little bush squidge like that. All right. Simple. Then all we're going to do is just give this a little roll, like so, pick this bad boy up, and here we go. Oh, oh mate, that's lovely. Mmm. That's fucking handsome, that is. Very simple dish. It was hardly hard work, was it? Not being funny. But, um, as I say, beef coffee. Oh, here comes the heat now. Here comes the heat, though, chilli, but that's coming in now. Oh, that's nice, that is. It's just the right amount. I'll have to have another bite. Sorry, guys. No, it's a perfect bit of lunch. I'll tell you something. If someone put that in front of you, you wouldn't be upset. Now, remember, don't forget to push all the fucking buttons, and I'll see you next time.